The video you are about to see is an account of the tragedy which befell a middle-aged metalhead while scrolling through his YouTube feed. For him, a passive search on his phone would become a nightmare. Although the efforts of this video may be in vain, it cannot be stated enough that certain horror movie franchises do not be rebooted, reimagined, or reconstituted. Regardless, his discovery would lead him to make a rant video about one of the most revered movies in the annals of modern cinema, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Okay, let's get one thing straight right off the top. I'm a fan of the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. But being a fan of that movie, I have to live through all the sequels that came out afterwards and have to take the good with the bad. And let's be honest here, when it comes to sequels of this franchise, the failures far outweigh the successes. So I heard that Fed Alvarez, the man who brought the Evil Dead reboot in 2013 and also Don't Breathe in 2016 to light, I found out that he was going to be the guy to bring the next Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie to theaters. And my one thought about another Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie was... No, 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 no! Now, production of this movie was to begin in May of 2020, but of course, due to COVID-19, production has been put on hold. So I don't want to come off as disrespectful to the production crew or the actors or anybody that's going to be involved with the actual making of this inevitable next TCM film. I'm directing this more towards the studios in Hollywood that just seem so determined to milk that slaughtered cow that is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise dry. So for this video, I'm looking at the bottom line. I mean exactly what the studios in Hollywood care about the most when they think about movies. How much money did they make? Ticket sales, box office, that kind of stuff. I'm not going to look at production. I'm not going to look at story. I'm not going to look at acting, fan reviews, anything of that nature. I'm just going by the numbers. So let's take a trip through the history of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. The original Texas Chainsaw Massacre came out in 1974 and is considered a bona fide horror classic. The story of a group of teens who become victims to a demented family of cannibals in the backwoods of Texas, featuring a 6 foot 7 inch beast who wears masks made of human flesh and carries a chainsaw, is iconic. The film has garnered recognition from many in the horror movie industry as a major influence to the genre. Arguably, it invented the final girl trope in horror films, and for all intents and purposes, the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre cannot be touched. Then in 1986, The Cannon Group, a film company which brought memorable movies like Bloodsport, Missing in Action, and Breakin' 2, produced the sequel, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, a campy exploration of the Sawyer family starring Caroline Williams and Dennis Hopper. The movie would not make nearly the money the original did, and even though it's a fun horror movie, it lacks the grit of the original. Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3, came out in 1990 and made less than the second movie, but it does boast a killer metal soundtrack. The fourth movie, Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Next Generation, had a very limited run in theaters and was basically a flop. It would spend most of its existence on the rack at your local Blockbuster. What? You know, Blockbuster? What? You know, the old video rental business? What? Well, anyway, it would seem that the barbecue shack was closed up for business, but not if Michael Bay has anything to say about it. In 2003, the reboot to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise came out and was a massive success, grossing over $107 million worldwide. This spawned a prequel in 2006, Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning, which did relatively good numbers, but didn't come close to the success of its predecessor. 2013 saw Texas Chainsaw 3D be released which did less than the previous movie. There are many timeline issues with this film, but Gunnar Hansen and Marilyn Burns from the original film do make cameos as part of the Sawyer family, so there is that. Finally, we had Leatherface in 2017. This film gives the backstory of the original movie, and by this point, the money is just not there anymore as it didn't even break a million dollars at the box office. So what did we learn from this history lesson? we learn that the original cannot be touched as far as fandom and influence is concerned. The next three movies after it wouldn't even come close to it at the box office. 
2003's release would be the biggest grossing movie in the history of the franchise, and the next three movies after it wouldn't even be able to match up altogether. So what does the future hold for Jedediah Bubba Thomas Brown Sawyer Slaughter Hewitt? Well, from what I found out about the next movie, the Leatherface character, who is now named Kenny for some reason, is supposed to be an old man at this point, around 60 years old. It's also been reported that there is another character in the movie named Mrs. M.C., who is the only person who can calm Kenny. She is supposed to be around 80 years old and about to be evicted from her home. Seriously? This is the best you can do, Hollywood? Are you kidding me? Listen, I speak for no one else except myself when I say... We don't need any more of these movies made! Thanks for watching this video. I know it probably won't make a difference in the grand scheme of things. I just felt like making this video about a franchise that I do care about, an original that means a lot to me, and sequels that really don't need to be made anymore. So, if you're a fan of Texas Chainsaw Massacre and they don't need to make any more, comment away, like this video, and share it on social media. I would deeply appreciate that. And also, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Thank you all very much for joining me, my friends. Stay safe out there, and stay decent, and keep those horns high.